Bread in the oven, bacon. Here comes the rude boy, Jamaican. Bread in the oven, bacon. Here comes the rude boy, Jamaican. Now, goody, if you're here watching me cooking this Jamaican chicken bat soup for the very first time, make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow, 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 like, and share. Turn on your post notification settings so you will always be aware of whenever your girl upload a ton of recipe. Now, if you want to see me cooking this chicken bat soup in a Jamaican kitchen, come on and let's get started. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest of our eye, eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed ya. You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need ya. Okay, good is uh, let me walk you through this chicken box soup as requested anything that you guys request i eat mega gono i have chicken soup but i don't want chicken soup i don't want chicken back soup so i'm gonna show you how mama used to cook this on a budget when things are really tight i we not afford to buy chicken we buy chicken back cheapest way to go if you are a jamaican then you know exactly what i talk about chicken back days are doing let me show you how to make the recipe yeah now that's my chicken back right there. We buy two parts, right? As you can see, it's cheap, cheap, cheap. I only paid one dollars and forty-five cents for two pack of chicken back, right? We get four pieces in there. Yes, and that I do it. All I'm gonna do is cut it in two pieces. Cut up the little tail part right there. So then I'm gonna soak it in some lemon juice, salt, and vinegar, and wash it real good. I'm a chicken back ready for my soap, right? In addition to that, I'm going to need corn, carrots, pumpkin, chocha, the right there, so or chocha, or whatever you want to call it. Chocha, we call it in a Jamaica, chocha. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to need scallion and thyme, right there, so. Scallion and thyme. Of course, I'm going to add some yellow yam to my soup, right there, so fuck up like double six. Potato, scotch bun and pepper, right there, so. I'm also going to be adding pumpkin flavored soup mix, right? And chicken flavored soup mix. So two of them as a combination to make the soup turn up thick, rich, and hot to the core. But also I'm going to add some dumpling. But now I make spinach for this. No want a big old dumpling in my soup to that spinach that do it. So I want to have a flour that's all purpose flour. To that, to give it some extra flavor, I'm going to add some all purpose season right there so the grace brand right also i'm gonna add some salt to get the chicken back some flavor and some pimento seed about a teaspoon of pimento seed all right and that's yeah that's all the ingredients you will need to make this jamaican chicken back soup today in your kitchen fast easy and simple come on and let's get started now goody that is your chicken back and what it should look like after you cut it, clean it, and make sure it's nice and ready for the pot, right? Now in addition to that, I'm gonna start off with my pumpkin, my chocho, and my carrots, right? Those are the first four ingredients that goes into your chicken back soup. Now your next step is to make sure that your water is bubbling like really hot. Don't put anything in there unless the water is really boiling, right? You want to go ahead and add your chicken back to it. Then you add your pumpkin, your chocha, and your carrots in. Now guys, I think I have probably about five cups of water. I'm cooking for a lot, so I want to start off with about five cups of water. Now you want to give that thing flavor. So you add your salt, your pimento seeds, and your alcohol season. You need flavor to that chicken soup. I'm going to cover that up for about 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. That is what your chicken box soup is going to look like after it's been cooking for about 20 minutes, 20-25 minutes. 
So now I'm going to add my yam and everything else, my corn and potatoes, kill it in time. Everything goes in. And that looks pretty good and smells up fabulous already. I'm going to add my pumpkin flavored soup mix to it. And my chicken flavored soup mix. Because it's all about flavor in my Jamaican kitchen. Now guys, remember I started the recipe with about five cups of water, right? Now after you cook it for 30 minutes, the, some of the water is going to boil out. So you want to make sure that you add additional water to it to bring it up back to a level to cook that yam and the potato and other, other stuff. We're gonna go ahead and make the dumpling for the soup. All I'm doing here is add a little bit of salt to it just to give that flour a little flavor. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. And that is what your flour mix is gonna look like to make a dumpling or your spinners. I'm gonna make spinners in mine. That is what that looks like. Let's go ahead and kind of give it a nice little mix in gently. I'm going to go back in and add another additional cup of water because we want to make sure that those vegetables cook properly. Then I had my hot scotch butter pepper right there on the top. You're gonna go ahead and cover that up and let it cook for another 30 to 40 minutes. There you have it y'all, all done. Chicken back soup in my kitchen fast, easy and simple. Thumbs up, like and share. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy. I'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time to eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.